Welcome again to Engineering Semester Channel. Last day we were discussed about what is WebRTC. If you are new to this series, please watch the introduction video about WebRTC first. I have given in the link description below. If you are not subscribed the channel yet, go and subscribe now. Okay, let us start. Today we are going to discuss about WebRTC and WebSockets. Are they same or different? What is your opinion? First of all, they are different. They both are used for different purposes. Now first let us look what are WebSockets. WebSockets are a bi-directional mechanism for browser communication. There are two types of transport channels for communication in browsers. One is HTTP and other is WebSockets. HTTP mainly used to fetch resources like web pages, images, JavaScript, etc. In essence, HTTP is a client-server protocol where the browser is the client and the web server is the server. Coming to WebSocket. Web browser connects to the web server by establishing a socket connection. Both HTTP and WebSockets are client-server protocols. But HTTP is unidirectional protocol. That means client send request and server send response. WebSocket is created by the commands like WS or WSS. Another important property of WebSocket is stateful protocol. That means connection between client and server will be alive until the connection terminated by either server or client. This new connection is known as WebSocket. Next, let us look when we can use WebSocket. Since WebSocket has the property stateful protocol, it can be used in real-time web applications and chat applications. You can see a simple WebSocket connection example in this page. Here some of the callbacks functions of WebSocket are on open, on error, on close and on message. We can possible to stream video and audio through WebSocket. Oops. Then why we are using WebRTC? We can use WebSocket. Right. But there are some advantages for WebRTC than a WebSocket. Let us look what are they. WebRTC is designed for high-performance, high-quality communication of video, audio, and data. WebRTC is browser-to-browser -browser communication and really fast. Another interesting thing is WebRTC uses UDP connection. But WebSocket uses TCP connection. Another important advantage is latency. WebRTC provides smooth audio-video communication with low latency, whereas WebSocket provide high latency with choppy playback. Another interesting fact is WebRTC uses WebSocket connection. What's surprised? Isn't it? WebRTC uses signaling mechanism to achieve the connection. I will explain the WebRTC signaling mechanism in the upcoming videos. Now here. In this signaling process WebSockets are used to make a connection for WebRTC. OK. To summarize what we are talking about WebSocket and WebRTC. Both WebSocket and WebRTC are powerful technologies. But WebRTC is faster than WebSocket during the video audio streaming. WebSocket can be used in the WebRTC connection for signaling process. That's it for now. I hope you got a better idea about WebSocket and WebRTC. Let us see more in the upcoming video series. If you are thinking this is informative, then like and share subscribe. Also support us. Thank you have a wonderful day.